It's the most wonderful time of the year. Bah, humbug. <laughs> well, folks, it's December again, which means the holiday slash humbug season is very much in full swing. And with the return of the holiday slash humbug season that has been thrust upon us, <laughs> we, of course, have the return of this season's signature beverage, eggnog. Now, as we all know, lately I've been experimenting with buying groceries from places other than traditional grocery stores. And so I've been seeing eggnog in just about every type of store out there. I've seen eggnog in convenience stores and, as the title of this video might suggest, dollar stores. Now, th the very concept of dollar store eggnog should be setting off every alarm and synapse and red flag that exists in your head. Because as we all know, eggnog, usually a giant mouthful of sugar and fat, is a milk-based beverage. How on earth do you sell something like that in a dollar store? Milk is expensive. Surely there must be some shenanigans at work in order to be able to sell eggnog in a dollar store. Or are there? No, folks, the way you sell eggnog in a dollar store is you sell the cheaper bits in the store and you make people buy their own milk. Oh, joy. This is sounding delicious already. Slosh, sarcasm, whatever. <sighs> dollar store eggnog, folks. It comes in packets that you add to milk. I already don't have very high hopes for this because back in college, I tried once one time in college, I tried to save money by just buying powdered milk and mixing some together whenever I wanted to drink milk. I don't remember that working out very well, so I can imagine I can only imagine what powdered eggnog must be like. Let's look at the box that barely fits in the shot because it's so tall, unless I do this. But then you'd have to turn your head sideways to read the text. Spiced eggnog instant mix. Natural and artificial flavors. Just add milk. Yeah, that's how you sell it in a dollar store. Remove the most expensive ingredient. <laughs> Three single serve packets. <sighs> Natural and artificial flavors. Open packets and pour contents into a cup. Add seven to eight ounces of whole milk. So, uh-oh, I'm in trouble already because I don't drink whole milk. I usually have one or two percent, so I'm already in trouble. Enjoy. Stir quickly to dissolve. Enjoy. Three single-serve packets. What do we have for nutrition facts? 60 calories per serving. Each packet, of course, is a uh, serving, so no serving shenanigans here from the looks of it. Not a lot of fat and not a lot of sugar which is disturbing, because eggnog usually is a giant mouthful of fat and sugar, which is why it's so unhealthy and people shouldn't drink it any other time besides the holidays. But, the side, the directions do say to add it to whole milk, which contains quite a bit of fat and sugar to begin with, so things aren't looking good already. All right, enough yip-yapping about the box, let's take a look inside. Santa Claus is coming to town. Unless you leave this by the milk and cookies. Right. It's a powder. Oh, joy. Not labeled for individual sale. Well, then. Let's do a little bit of a jump cut here. Get the lap desk and um, some milk. And a cup, of course. <laughs> Right, let the dollar store eggnog experiment begin. Of course, I'm not going to dirty up any of my real glasses with this stuff, so I just grabbed a plastic cup and a plastic spoon. And in case I can't get this open with my rubber gloves, I've come prepared. You know what? Let's skip trying to get this thing open with the rubber gloves. Let's see here. Let's get this cut open here. And snip! And into the cup it goes. Yay! Eggnog. I should probably mention that I'm usually not that much of an eggnog drinker around the holidays. Regular eggnog makes me a little nauseous. So I usually just get the light stuff that has less fat and sugar in it. But, you know, this stuff seems to have less fat and sugar. Let's throw that over there. Well, before we pour the milk in, 
that's what we have to work with. A little bit of eggnogish powder type stuff. Now, the moment of truth. Add some milk to it and give it a good stir. Of course, this is 1%, so I imagine I've ruined it already. Let's fill this sucker up to right about there and give it a good stir and see what it tastes like. And see whether I want to mess with the other packets at all. Let's move it up in front, but not too close so I don't risk destroying another camera with rogue liquids that won't cooperate. Eggnog! Da -da -da -da. Now, as a, now, that noise you're hearing, of course, is the bits of eggnog powder that won't dissolve. Or maybe it won't dissolve because I'm not using whole milk. Is that the intent? Let's try stirring the other way. Oh, that's a good way to mess it all up. Okay, how long are we supposed to open, stir, and enjoy, huh? It, it just says to stir it. So, am I gonna be drinking, like, milk with little eggnog bits in it? It says, open, stir, and enjoy. I shouldn't have to get, like, a cake beater or something like that. Ugh, okay, I give up. This is what we're gonna have to work with. It's like a very nasty fitness beverage or something like that. Anyways, knowing what real eggnog tastes like and being somewhat disturbed that this, whatever it is, wouldn't dissolve properly, I don't have very high hopes for this. So, okay, here we go. Let's quit putting it off. Dollar store eggnog in three, two, one. Oh, yo, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, oh man. This is, this stuff is hideous. The rubber gloves have served me well with this crap. Oh, there's undissolved bits in it and everything. Oh, yuck. Epic fear. That was bloody dreadful. <laughs> Off to the side, please. What a waste of perfectly good milk. Okay, now about what this stuff tastes like. Basically, uh, as we've already seen, not all of this dissolves. So you've got little bits of powder that will still be floating in this stuff when you go to drink it. And if you've ever dr if you ever drank pre-mixed, pre-made eggnog, you'll um, you, it, this does it tastes like milk with some weird powder in it. It doesn't even taste like eggnog hardly at all. But what do you expect for a dollar? I mean. <laughs> It, it's it's got to taste like someone tried to make potent enough eggnog powder for this stuff to work, but they, they kind of gave up halfway through. Really, it's just like milk with someone dumping little bits of sand in it and maybe little bits of eggnog spices. But definitely, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this except maybe for some kind of college dare. Or I don't know, maybe spice it up with something or maybe some frat party or something could use this for like some holiday drink-a-thon drink or something. Ugh. You'd have to be totally drunk to think that this tasted like eggnog. Well, there is a hint of eggnoggy taste, but it's like if you ever screwed up and got the ratios wrong when making other types of powdered drinks. So, just to not waste the milk, let's finish it off. And the nightmare is finally over. You know, you know what really kills this stuff? The powder just doesn't dissolve properly. It kind of clumps to itself and clumps together instead of dissolving in the milk. Or maybe it's because I'm using 1% instead of, uh, instead of whole milk. But do, do I really need to buy another box of this crap and try it with some even more unhealthy whole milk? In order for this to work properly, I don't, I don't know, and I don't care, and I don't feel like wasting another dollar just to find out. Who makes this stuff? <laughs> Chifley Foods. Never heard of them. I wonder why. Who's it distributed by? United Contract Packaging, West Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Ah, cool. Glad to support local New England jobs by <sighs> drinking this crap. Final verdict, if the holiday season rolls around and you have to resort to buying your eggnog in powdered form in a dollar store, you really need to go stand in a corner, hang your head in shame, and just think and ponder as to how much you've screwed up in life to have sunk this low to have to resort to doing something like this. Which is what I'm going to do right now.